Hey, you're watching Danger Close Customs. Today I'll do a real quick video shooting some more of the B&T GMH9 pistol with the Lingle Industries Scorpion Magazine Lower. And I saw another review today about how someone didn't like the B&T proprietary mags. And so again, this is probably the best way to go if you want a B&T. This is actually the third in a series of videos. So check out the PCC Showdown and the PCC Shootout videos uh, in my channel. I'll post links to them in the comment section. Come on, hot. So I'm just shooting the B&T here because the last video I didn't bring all the different kinds of mags out. So I wanted to show how all the different mags run. So as you can see, it shot all the different kinds of mags uh, flawlessly without issue. And the gun runs really well. We also shot the AKV and the Grand Power Strybog with the Lingle Industries scorpion lower and amongst the three of those plus the scorpion uh, we like the bnt the best there are a lot of comments recommending the apc9 by bnt as the best one i don't have that one to compare and there's a new s model for the grand power stride bob which makes it a five inch barrel and kind of like the micro scorpion and of course there's now another scorpion the micro scorpion three plus and this scorpion has a new lower it has a really cool look to the polymer part of the lower but i think there might be something wrong with this new lower it was very loose and wobbly uh, on the receiver you can physically move it you can see here it's got quite a bit of play and i wouldn't accept this one if it came in I would send this one back. So if you have this issue or have seen this, um, or if you've got one that is perfectly tight, please leave us a comment in the comment section so we know what's going on with these new Micro Scorpion 3 Plus. I am a fan of CZ, but I know they've had some quality control issues with the CZ Bren MS2. There were some complaints about the rear trunnion being loose. So if you're going to order one of these, I would make sure that before they ship it to you, they check for the wiggle or the dealer you're buying from is willing to return it if it comes and it looks like this. This may be an isolated incident. Hopefully it is. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Danger close.